South Korea's exports of vehicles rose to an all-time high last month thanks to brisk demand for eco-friendly cars overseas. This was despite unfavorable factors like rising interest rates and logistics disruptions from the recent truckers' strike. Shin Sebyuk has the details. South Korea's auto exports in November reached an all-time high thanks mostly to solid demand for eco-friendly cars and improving supplies of semiconductors. Data from the trade ministry shows that for five months in a row, both export value and volume have marked an on-year rise. In terms of volume, nearly 220,000 cars were sold overseas, up 25 percent, marking a record high. The value of auto exports last month came in at 5.4 billion U.S. dollars, up 31 percent on year. All despite factors such as interest rate hikes and logistics disruptions from the trucker strike that began late last month. The record figure came on the back of brisk overseas sales of eco-friendly cars, which take up well over one-fifth of the country's total. As for units sold, it saw on-year growth of nearly 15 percent, with over 50,000 units shipped abroad. In terms of value, it jumped over 20 percent on year, reaching an all-time monthly high of just under $1.5 billion. In particular, shipments of electric and hydrogen cars came in at $800 million, also hitting all-time records. An expert attributed the rise to the improved quality of South Korean-made cars. South Korean car makers have been striving to improve their quality, especially their luxury brands. Because of that, Korean-made EVs are now enjoying growing popularity globally. Meanwhile, auto production and domestic sales also showed a strong performance in November. Domestic sales jumped 8.4 percent and production was up over 25 percent. With such record-breaking figures coming out month after month, the trade ministry expects the value of auto exports for 2022 as a whole to surpass $50 billion for the first time. As of the end of November, overseas sales had reached worth $48.7 billion. The same expert said he expects the current trend will continue at least until the first half of 2023, citing South Korean car makers' strong performances in both production volume and quality management. Shin Sebyeok, Arirang News.